They do even no one make person talk. Hmm. Them say that my egun, that man do they talk. He do they talk. Say my egun diary, he they hot like pepper. But every day, then they take money in buck. Woman picking, they district, they hawk. Still, them talk, say, make we not talk. But thank God, say, my egun don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. My egun don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make you shout. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hello there. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you. Good evening to you from wherever you are watching from. This is Mayegun Live. Thank you, thank you for joining me. Share the broadcast. Invite your friends. Invite your not so friendly friends. For this particular segment on Mayegun's Diary Politico, which is pretty much like a catch-up, I am going to implore you to please invite the following people to the Buari Dins, the Buari Didins, the Buari Dinotus, the Buari Dijatus, the Buari Shukus, the Unek Haris, the ungoziaris, the obedient fools, sophisticated morons, the ombud slaves, social media bandits, Facebook ads men. Don't forget the Lagos Abobakus, the Oshogbo Alimajiris, the crumb eaters, the crumb chasers, the ass lickers, the all risers. Tell them, my Egunti day. As you are inviting them, don't forget their uncles. Their aunties abroad, the Abu and the Abrodian Buari Diots, the Mumumadus, the Bele lecturers, the Mumu lecturers, tell them, my good today. Lori Facebook, and yes, Lori YouTube, it's going to be an interesting night. And yes, we like, I am a bad day, we and <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening to you. Good morning to you. Good afternoon to you, ladies and gentlemen. You are welcome to the Temple of Truth tonight. Let me, let me, let me try to say something to you here quickly. 
most of what I'm going to tell you tonight, majority of uh, the Lagos Abobakus, the Oshogbo Alimajiris, they are likely not going to accept. But who cares? But one thing is this. You are not guilty of what is about to befall the internal saboteurs. Those who said it is going to be Nigeria first. Nigeria first. Yoruba last. Igbo last. Biafra last. Ejo last. You, the indigenous people last. They are about to be served their own breakfast cold. And please, you are not the reason why. So therefore, do not, by any means, blame yourself for whatever is about to befall them. Because we said it, we shouted it, we said it. They kept uh, the, uh, what do you call it, the loudness of silence. They kept sealed leaves against uh, what is going on. The real thing going on around them, including their people that are being killed, slaughtered, while Boko Hari destroyed everything, every fiber of whatever is left of the Nigeria that you've come to know. They packaged him, they packaged them, they did a lot, they lied, they lived in denial, they did a lot. Now the day of reckoning is near. And you are not the cause. Whether they, they kill themselves, whether they destroy themselves, do not feel guilty for them. And whatever we do on this platform is actually not the reason why. We we're just those who are trying to tell them that if they choose to, to pick Yoruba first, for example, they will not face the coming disgrace that is uh, looming. They said we should shut up now. Whatever we say, they are not likely going to believe because they have their own alternative reality. So, to you, ladies and gentlemen, brethren in the temple of truth, eh? Tief Numbu and gang, they, they, I mean, they don't enter panic mode. It all started from the shock that uh, fake Pastor Ruga was going to run against uh, Tief Numbu. They didn't believe it. Initially, some of you were telling yourselves that uh, it was a gimmick, maybe a kind of a way to further give uh, Tifnumbu chance and stop other people from contesting, blah, 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 blah. Now you have realized that uh, it is not a fluke. The people who said that uh, they're not born and well to say in one contest against, against uh, Tifnumbu, they are now the people who are now shouting, betrayer, betrayer, Judas, Judas, Judas. Reality is coming gradually. Now, their camp have entered panic mode. Now, what is panic mode? They dined and whined with the devil. They covered and defended the devil. Even when the policies of this uh, devilish uh, criminals in government started hunting and killing people, they came out and what? They also defended the devil. And he who took a ride on the back of uh, the lion is certainly going to be hand, I mean, going to be handing in his uh, belly. I don't know if that's the narrative, go, 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 but you get what they try to talk, have you? <laughs> they lied to the Yorubas, Yoruba intelligentsias, Yoruba academia, Yoruba elite, and the Yoruba average poor people. They lied to them that uh, going into an arrangement uh, of APC egbe, egbe, was going to be the best uh, thing that ever happened to the people of uh, Yoruba land in Nigeria. Because they said, one, they were going to ensure the true federal, they call it uh, true federalism which would have uh, given the Yorubas the larger opportunity, the, the greater opportunity to be in charge of their own affairs without any interference that have kept us uh, poor. They lied to the Yoruba people. You are going to get your own state police. Nobody is going to send you out of your farms. All you needed was just to get a PC in. Tifnumbu and Ganga have got a deal. Seven years down the line, Yoruba land is more impoverished. Yoruba land is under invasion. 
And guess what? Virtually everything has collapsed. And listen to this, though. If you want to know what does collapse, you check your economy. And these rogues are now coming together to say it's like they are about to receive their own uh, cold breakfast too. Despite all of the denial, all of the lies, all of the blame games, ladies and gentlemen, they are not going to get uh, to become president in Tifnumbu's uh, body lawn. Everything don't scatter, but you are just about to find out. But to save you the heartbreak, that is why you should listen to me now. So you won't be in shock. If they are telling you that it was, it was a game for Pastor Ruga to say he wants to be president, when majority of them believe that uh, after uh, Bokwari, it's going to be Tifnumbu. Seven years down the line, Bokwari destroyed everything called federal character. Normally, despite the fact that uh, we said they are practicing a unitary system of government that they call democracy in Nigeria, yeah? But the rogues who put together the Decree 24, 1999 constitution, they never forgot to add what they called federal character. Federal character means every indigenous uh, people in Nigeria will be represented in every decision-making organ of uh, the government of Nigeria. Do you understand what that means? It simply means that uh, if the, before they, before, I mean, when they are going through recruitment into any federal government agencies, right, they have to share them by your representation. But that's not what happened under Bokuari. According to Tifnumbu and Gang, when Bokuari started replacing uh, different uh, head of uh, parastatus agencies and uh, evil ministries and all that, when Bokwari was replacing them with uh, his own uh, Fulani, Ausa, uh, you know, clans, the likes of uh, Tifnumbu licking their, you know, licking their wounds, they came out to defend it that Bokwari could work with anybody he wanted. Now, he's worked with uh, those he wanted and they've destroyed Nigeria enough that uh, even Tifnumbu himself, right, is no longer wanted. Their camp, they are no longer wanted. You know why? Eh? They said that uh, somebody is coming. Two people. One of them, good luck, Egbere Jolantan. Second of them is going to be uh, the rubber stamp Senate president, president, president of Nigeria, Ahmed Dilawan. Now, Ahmed Dilawan is going to declare that he wants to be president on Thursday in two days' time. Uh, what do you call it? Good luck, Egbere Jolantan is likely going to decamp to APC in the next uh, one or two weeks as well, right? All of these are now putting the Tifnumbu camp in a total panic uh, mode. So guess what, what they are doing? They have called for emergency meeting. So the emergency meeting they have called for this Friday eh, is to call on those who are the Yoruba APC presidential aspirants. Guess who they are? Tifnumbu. Fake Pastor Ruga, Irokunli Omar Mushi from Ogun State. Uh, this one, uh, Kayode uh, Fayewon from Ekiti. So these four people, two of them, mind you, three of these guys are running because the Kaba in Abuja told them to go and run. They need to reduce Tifnumbu. And I'm going to give you some stats today to help you understand that uh, if anybody is blackmailing you, about Tifnumbu and all these jargons they are doing, right? You have every right to call their bullshit because you know what? There is actually absolutely no substance, no base for all the noise they are making, all the hype they are making, because most of them, they are coming from these hungry, hungry touts. Some of them look like they are responsible. They are not, okay? Hungry touts. Who knows that uh, Tifnumbu's life ambition is to be president of Nigeria, and they will tell him whatever he wants to hear, right? But when you check it substance by substance, for real, eh? he has no real base. And I'll prove that to you this, uh, this evening. It was Ikaba that told uh, Ikene Shatabandu to go and run. Check Ikene Shatabandu, fake Pastor Ruga. Eh? Do you think it is, uh, it is only intention to say he wants to run against uh, Tifnumbu? Or some of you would never really believe it could happen. It is happening. 
Now, uh, Fayemi wants to be president. Meanwhile, from the onset, it was Fayemi that was being prepared eh, to be the shocker to decimate and cut it if Numbu down for any means or any, anything he wants to pull in Southwest because that's the only base he believes he has and he doesn't have any control there too. But uh, fake Basaruga just came out from the blues. Now, for those who have been following the politics of Yoruba land, I am from Ogun State and I have been one of those, if I have to put uh, a political biography for a book, uh, this Ibukunle uh, Abonsun, I am one of those that will give you credible accounts of his political life when he was governor, his politics back in Ogun State, his politics back uh, in Southwest, and his politics up north, which made him to, uh, you know, as a governor, to now annex Ogun State, uh, Ogun State post, Ogun State money, Ogun State resources to that of uh, Bokwari and his uh, family's uh, welfare. All of this, yeah, I can give you low down. And I can tell you that from uh, 2012, a year after Ibekunle Amosun became governor of Ogun State, for those who are in the know, for those who are watching me from Ogun State right now, and those who are in the know of uh, the politics of uh, Southwest at the time, you will remember that uh, when Ibekunle Amosun parlied with uh, APP or ENPP, as they were called, became friends with uh, Bokwari, and he eventually came back to plead with ACN to give him their ticket back then uh, in Ogun State as the only person who could tackle Benga Daniel and his, uh, and his gang then. So immediately he became governor. He automatically started uh, the process of, uh, you know, untangling the influence or the hands of uh, Tifnumbu from entire Southwest uh, politics for those who didn't know. Remember, this may not be something so public to some of you, but you're about to see the real politics of uh, why three people who were supposed to be from the same uh, political clan suddenly wanted to be presidiot, not because they want to be presidiot, and not because Tifnumbu actually asked them to do that. It is because it is done and dusted, and you are just about to see. So, they are in panic mode. The BCR Conde, BCR Conde, Oshoba, uh, and few others, they have asked Sonwiku to call a meeting. And that meeting that some way could call this Friday is to bring Irokunle, Omar Mushi, Fayewon, uh, Pastor Ruga, and Tifnumbu together. Now, this is what I want to project will happen on Friday. Two things. They are going, some are not going to honor it. And if they actually honor it, right, they will never reach a quorum because the effort is to say all of them should step down for one person. And wherever you see Oshoba and you see BC Akonde, eh, they will ask people to, start, to step down for who? For Tifnumbu. Not minding the fact that eh, these guys are all the agents of who? Of Bokwari, the supposed person who promised Tifnumbu it will become the next uh, president after him. But it is no longer looking so anymore so number one they either will have uh, what they call no quorum may everybody just find a level yeah or they will just use the friday meeting to give tifnumbu a safe landing so they will just say oh in that meeting tifnumbu endorsed this person do you understand that that tifnumbu has decided to step down he is no longer running. That is what is called safe landing, face saving. Because up north, where Tifnumbu is actually relying on the endorsement of a Bokwari, they've realized that a Bokwari is a vegetable, a demented, a dementia patient that could not really hold any tangible, reasonable conversation for too long. Other people are in charge. Tifnumbu knows that as we speak. So, that is part of uh, their emergency meeting to call what they call, let us save face. But, not them demo, I'm just trying to get you into their inner working mind. But guess what? Another person raised an alarm. This time around, they are using the same people who said Bokwari could walk with anybody he wanted. From any party he wanted. 
the same people are now screaming in the media. One of their sources said this. The Southwest is the biggest investor in APC because they're emotionally invested in them. They, they drag our people into the lies that has now kept our people more unsafe, poorer than ever. So one of the sources said, the Southwest is the biggest investor in APC. The political marriage between the then Action Congress of Nigeria, ACN, and Congress for Progressive Changes, CPC, gave birth to APC. That's not, that's not completely true, okay? There are four legacy parties, if not five. Do you know that uh, among those who formed APC, you have uh, ACN, Tifnumbu Camp, you have uh, uh, Bokwa, CPC, Bokwaris Camp, you have uh, ANPP, Ogo Nayaono, Ogo Nayaono's Camp, you have uh, APGA, Okorocha's Camp, before they all came together to form uh, APC. But you know now, when you see, when you meet Tifnumbu and his, uh, and his uh, gang of uh, lie merchants, yeah, on boot slaves, they have a way of uh, twisting things, okay? So, ACN came to Dimaja with six governors against one governor from CPC. The Southwest sacrificed most for, for, C, for APC. It is only natural that the, that the region should produce the successor to President Muhammadu Bokwari from Northwest. According to this APC guy, oh, rooting for Tifnumbu. So he said, the leaders are worried that if the Southwest does not get its act together, we may lose the APC presidential ticket to another region. It is even more worrisome that the four aspirants from, from APC are from the same political family. The Southeast is making a legitimate claim to the presidency. I like that. The Southeast, the Eagles have legitimate right to say we are next. And they are actually legitimately right to be next, by the way, if to say Nigeria was a country, but it's never one. So even the South South that are just... Uh, that uh, just had the presidency with President Goodluck Jonathan wants a shot at it again with aspirants coming out of the region, right? So one of the uh, uh, sources uh, was quoted, but the governor of Ondo State, that one, you know, that one is a lawyer, eh? That one explained detail in detail why this one is not saying Yoruba should be president. Oh. Akere Dolu is saying that uh, APC, Egbe Kegbe, should remember what is called federal character, something they didn't use, they didn't practice for seven years. So Akere Dulu is reminding them. And he said that uh, this is the last thing that could break up Nigeria totally. You know why they are in panic mode right now? Like I told you, they have already finalized the person that is going to be their candidate. They have already decided who is going to be the deputy. And like KPC as a court, they don't burn anybody well. Once they're seen at this person, all of this gra gra go enter, go enter voicemail. All of you, they do shakara here and there, you go behave. Now, that is the panic mode right now. If you don't see the signal, watch, uh, listen to what I'm about to read to you. Now, Akere Dolu, write this one, oh. Governor Akere Dolu, APC, Ebekebe Governor of Ogun State. Yeah? I mean, sorry, of Ondo State, sorry. According to Akere Dolu, Sorry, they are tiny writings. So I'll read them slow so that you can get the content. So bear with me. Our party, the All Progressive Congress, has started the process which will eventually culminate in the presentation of elected political leaders who must steer the affairs of the country for another term we have been able to hold the party's convention successfully. Now, officers of the party have emerged in a process that is widely acknowledged as rancor-free. The level of understanding and maturity displayed by all and sundry has been commendable. Known, adver I mean, known adversaries have been forced to accept the imagined fact that our party is formidable and ready for the next general elections. The current, what's that? Hang on, whatever. Economic uh, crisis, yeah? 
uh, the current economic crisis are surmountable, it is commendable that the government is addressing these issues without drama. <laughs> the federal government and leadership of our great party will come out stronger, blah, 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 blah. The current uh, democratic dispensation is anchored on the unwritten convention driven by a principle of uh, equity, political, uh, whatever, I can't read that. Uh, then, uh, oh, why is it so tiny? Okay, I'm gone. Give me a sec. So the current democratic dispensation is anchored on the unwritten conviction driven by a principle of uh, equity, political expediency dictates, uh, political ex expediency dictates more appealingly that while adhering to the spirit and letters of the laws guiding conduct of elections and succession to political offices, we must do nothing. We must do uh, nothing which is, sorry, which is, well, I don't know that, of the, whatever, I don't know. I'll go on. Then uh, to the next one, he said, our party just elected officials on the established principles of uh, giving every part of the country an important stake in the political calculus. The focus has now shifted to the process which will culminate in the participation of our party in the general election schedule for next year. All lovers of peace and freedom must do everything to eschew uh, tendencies which may predispose them to taking decisions which promote distrust and lead to a crisis, the end of which nobody may be able to predict. The leadership of the party ensured that the principle of rotational representation guided its decision at the just concluded convention. The party chairmanship position has gone to the north. All other offices have been filled on this, I mean, on this understanding. This is the time the leaders of the party must make a categorical statement, the void of equivocation on the pattern of succession. The party executive committee has fixed a fee for the purchase of the nomination form for the office. It is expected fervently uh, that it will proceed to complete the process by limiting the uh, propensities for disagreement to a region for possible micromanagement. It is very expedient that we avoid self-inflicted crisis before the general elections. It is the turn of the southern part of the country to produce the next president. The party leadership should have no difficulty in making pronouncements on, on this very important uh, issue, just as it has fixed various fees for the purchase of uh, forms. This must be done without delay. The principle of federal character is enshrined in the 1999 constitution as amended. It will be disingenuous for anyone to argue against rotation at this period. We must not keep our party men and women guessing on the position of the leadership of the party. This is the time to weigh in and take control of the process. No statement must suggest, even remotely, that the party harbors certain uh, sentiments which may predispose it to consider throwing the contest open. This is certain, I mean, this is certainly not the time for equivocation. Equity dictates that we more, I mean, we take a stand. Arakunri, uh, Oluwaro Timi, Akere Dolu, that is the governor of Ondo State. Sorry, the, the writings are so tiny. I had to expand and expand, but I've got uh, bad eyes in reading tiny content anyway. So everybody is in panic mode because this is May 2022. They have just about 25 days for this oh, to come to to come to a, an abrupt uh, abrupt uh, end. They trapped themselves, ladies and gentlemen. They, 
dined with the devil. They breeded a they breed a monster, and the monster is about to consume them, and they are about to begin to throw around the cards of uh, is the town of southern Nigeria. Southern Nigeria, this Yoruba, this Igbo, that. But for the past three years, after 2019, all of these characters that are going to now talk about uh, Southern Nigeria, this, and they you watch their words, though. start watching what they will be saying, start listening to them. You'll be hearing words like crisis, division, implosion, Nigeria, you know, this, they will start using all those words to trigger people to get them to know that uh, if we don't get what we want, we are going to ask our people to start killing themselves so that uh, we can get what we want and still be part of Nigeria. That is where you come in. They are going to have a, they are going to have a meeting in Lagos on Friday. The meeting is not going to be about how can we work together as a people and promote the agenda of Yoruba first from, a, from where we come from. Protect our people and encourage same rather than jumping up and down to want to try and undo what Bokuari has done. See if Nubu no get any base for Yoruba land, for real. Do you want me to tell you? Apart from those who are collecting his money and those who are also looking forward to collecting their money, for those who know very well, in Yor Yoruba land, which is the southwestern Nigeria, as we speak, consists or should I say comprises of uh, Lagos, Ogun, Ekiti, Oshun, Oyo, Ondo, six states. Presently, you have uh, Akere Dolu in Ondo, APC. You have uh, Sonweiku in Lagos, APC. You have this one, uh, this uh, clown in Oshun, forgot his name, Tifnumbu's cousin, is APC. You have uh, Dubious Dapo in Ogun State, APC. You have uh, Fayemi in Ekiti, APC. And then you have uh, PDP, Shejima Kinde. In Ojo, you see, as I as I hold one as I hold one hand. Oh yeah, okay. Oh Letola, thank you very much, Jerry. Oh Letola. So, by party structure, to all of you, APC controls Southwest majority states. But there is more to that. That you have APC there does not mean that uh, you have Tifnumbu loyalists there, except if you are one of those who are still lying to themselves. But don't worry, you will find out in a few days. Ogun State, where they managed to bring uh, the fraudulent uh, dubious Dapo to be their governor. It was a game of revenge against uh, Iraq only Omar Moshi. And since then, even Dubios Dakpo is here to control the state when you talk about the, the political, the party there. So therefore, Ogun State is not one of the areas where Tifnubu holds sway. On those states is where Arakuni, Akere Dolu, that I just uh, read uh, part of his letter earlier, and for those who knows how Akere Dolu became the governor of uh, Ondo State, you will know that uh, his uh, delegates, his, their, their party, their loyalists, and what have you, belong to where? It doesn't belong to Tifnumbu. Which means you have Oshun. Oshun is also divided enough that uh, Aregbe Mugbo, who is backing, uh, Aregbe Mugbo that is backing Professor Ruga, I mean, sorry, Pastor Ruga. We eventually divide Oshun for them. So, which means there is no stronger old, there's no strong gold anywhere for Tifnumbu other than uh, is Lagos. And that is why all these guys, Fayemi and Kwa and the rest of them, they are considered as uh, possible saboteurs to Tifnumbu's uh, ambition. So, what do you think will happen on Friday? They will tell them to step down for Tifnumbu. And then let him have uh, their delegate be. When somebody that doesn't even need to go and dash money anywhere is about to be announced as the APC anointed candidate, 
And like they say, if once they announce it, eh, you no get any choice. So you have to go and queue behind it or else, eh? You go the other I say now from inside jail or exile, your tiff number go to read the election results. Last last. When you dine with the devil, make sure you make sure say your spoon long. Because eh, you go take beating. Where we say, Baba, when devil finish with others, eh, he go come for you. And that is the stage you are right now. So you see that time that you are living the illusion. Tifnubu is jagadis jagadat. Now, one small commando, according to them in Lagos, whatever money cannot do, more money will do it. And for those who know better, ask yourselves, should this thing make any sense to you? Eh? In 2018, I'm talking to the, to the Lagos Abobakus now and the Oshogu Alimajiris. She in 2018, eh, in your own widest dream, when you are doing on your mandate, eh, on your mandate, Bola, on your mandate, we shall stand. You remember? It was certain. You were expecting that the moment Bola say he won't be presidiot. All these guys, they have to kill behind him. Was that not your expectation? Three years ago, four years ago, all of you, mandate, mandate, mandate group. Is that not the name you give to yourself whenever they want to share money for all of you? Mandate group equity. As you are your group, Oshun. As you argue this Jagaban, this and Dabi, is that not what they told you then? Four years ago, would you ever in your widest dream believe that uh, okay, it's gonna be like this? To the point that uh, all you are Bagba, Oshoba, BCR Conde, they have to start calling a meeting, emergency meeting. That's what they call it. 